right, we're doing another urban trail today. Looks like the sign's pretty faded now. This is Big Gulch Trail. It is located um, right near, I guess you can't see it through the trees, but the Muckleteo Library is right there. This is a fairly short hike. It can be kind of muddy. And I've always liked this one. I actually used to live over here, so I would do this hike all the time. It was massively improved, I wanna say about 10 years ago. Um, and it does follow, I believe a sewer line, the terminus of the trail at the lower end is um, actually at a sewer treatment plant, which isn't the greatest destination, but the trail itself is really pretty. Um, there are two entrances. One is right by the library on Harbor Point Boulevard. And the other one is, I think it's a 92nd Street Park. And we might walk up that way. I've actually never done that little spur. But the stream is gorgeous. They've done a lot of restoration here. In a lot of the more muddy places, they put this boardwalk, which is actually really, really slippery too, especially if there's any kind of ice and um, even a bit when it's wet. So they've actually put hardware cloth over the top of it to provide some grip, which really does help, but definitely when you're on this trail, use caution when on these boardwalks. And here's part of the trail that could use a little boardwalk. People have put sticks to kind of get through this mud. There's some ferns fiddleheads just grown some new fronds and they're in the process of opening. There's a big old stump remnant of what used to be here. There's some pretty big trees down here, some nice second growth fir. It's actually a really, really nice hike for being in the city. Maybe the biggest drawback is that it does follow a sewer line. You don't really notice most of the time. I remember there being maybe one or two spots where you can kind of smell a little bit of a sewer smell um, but still not too bad and just the sound of the stream is so beautiful All right, I'm about exactly a half mile from the library entrance, and this is where the trail wise off. Um, I'm not sure what the mileage on this sign means. This is trailhead three miles library. Uh, it's half a mile to the library. Um, and then it also says three miles to 92nd Street Park. Um, so I wonder if that's also half a mile. I think we'll go ahead and take that North Fork first, and then we'll go down to the terminus and then head back to the library. So let's check it out. After heading this way, I see that there's two entrances. Um, one goes to um, 525 and one goes to the 92nd Street Park. So we're gonna go ahead and go towards the 92nd Street Park. So it looks like there's a few different entrances you can take and kind of choose your own adventure if you wanna wander around in the trails here. Again, it's just super peaceful. We're real close to Boeing and Payne Airfield, so you will get some airplane traffic overhead. There was a really loud one that just flew over. Put up some steps and some switchbacks to get up to the 92nd Street Park. All right. 
this nice little park. I've actually never really checked it out properly. Big grassy area. I see a playground over there. Ah, oh, somebody lost their kitty. So I am at 0.85 now. So where the sign said <laughs> 92nd Street Park, three miles, that was actually 0.35. I really don't know what that sign meant, but um, not even a half mile to get to this, the park. When you come up the stairs, there's actually a right or a left. I think if you take a right, you'll either end up on Mukilteo Speedway or maybe um, a different area of the park. Here's this really cool cedar tree that looks like it was broken at some point, but may have been cut off. And as the trunk laid along the ground, it sent up branches that turned into multiple trunks. just so mossy. As I'm heading down the hill, there's a little trail that goes up, but it doesn't say where to. And it does say the sign here, uh, I can't see it through the trees very well. No public outlet, utility access easement. So I think that's what that little trail is. Enough people looks like use it that it must come out somewhere. Just a little over a mile down and we have an informational sign about nurse stumps and nurse logs. And it's set right here by this old growth stump, which was cut down. You can see the notches they cut to stand in it so they could saw it off where it was straighter. And here's kind of a sewer pipe. There's definitely a little distinct smell of sewer in this spot, but not too bad. And after that, I think we start getting into some more like forest. some sword fern fiddleheads starting to come up. Once those little curled up fiddleheads start to open on the sword fern, is it just me or do these look like hairy spider legs? They're kind of creepy. There's a nice little bench area. People could come and have a picnic. We found some sunshine coming through the trees. This is beautiful. Here's another little area with benches. We're almost to the bottom of the ravine again, and we've got a sign about um, erosion. Pretty cool. Looks like I've reached the end of the hike, and I can see that this is meeting up with the road, and I can see the sewer treatment plant through the trees. Um, so this is the end of the trail. We're just gonna turn around Minus the spur I did up to the 92nd Street Park, I would say 1.7 miles from the library down to this sign. I have muddy paw prints on me. Frodo couldn't believe I was taking a picture of the stream instead of him. 
So Big Gulch with the spur up to the 92nd Street Park was a 3.86 miles round trip and uh, 650 feet of elevation, which is pretty good for a little urban hike. I heard a bald eagle, but didn't see one. We saw a few birds and squirrels, and it was just this really peaceful trail with the sound of the stream the whole way. Um, it is weird that it ends at the sewer plant, but um, not a big deal. You're there for the hike, not for the destination, hopefully. <laughs> um, I try not to get frustrated when I can't get into the mountains. I'm trying to enjoy urban hikes more, and I've been really pleasantly surprised when I've given them a chance.